<laughs> what? Uh, again? Right. Mm-hmm. And show me finish. 24. Hmm. Right. <clears throat> ah. 48. Yeah, it happened again. So, my 24 port switch that I installed not that long ago, there's actually a video on it right there, has decided to um, run out of PoE wattage budget. Um, so the power budget for the 24 port switch is 95 watts, and I'm running at, as you saw, about 88 sometimes, depending on what's on. So we're getting close. Hence this, this is the 48 port equivalent. So this is still a fanless device. It still has PoE, uh, but it has 190 watts of power budget. So today we're gonna install this um, instead of the one that's just above me here. And, um, and then Hopefully that will be enough power for the foreseeable future and there'll be a lot more ports for activities. Yeah. So um, let's first unpack this thing, have a look at it, and um, then we'll put it in the cupboard. I mean, server cabinet. All right, let's take this out the box, hey? Uh, as always, the switches come in these um, brown cardboard boxes. Don't know why they're not white, but anyway, they are. Um, got this lovely way of opening these things, I do like that. Alright, so, this is the standard box of accessories usually. These are the power cord and there's also of course there's the bracket for mounting it in the server cabinet. And then, let's see if we can get this thing out. There we go, put the box over there. So, this is the exact same dimensions as the 24 port. There's no difference. It's just that this is heavier. I can feel that already. It's a lot heavier. Um, let's take it out of his little bag. All right, let's start at the front here. So, many, many ports. Yes, there are 48 ports. 32 of them, which are marked up to here, are PoE plus. Uh, and the last uh, 16, uh, not powered, so therefore your printer or your NAS or whatever doesn't need PoE power. All right, and then there are four SFP ports of one gigabit uh, optic ports. I think they're one gigabit. Anyway, I'll put the specs there. Um, and of course it has a display for it um, and a reset button if you want to reset it. That is pretty much it. Um, and a power on the back, of course, there's power. But, but that's it. Um, so this is fanless, so there's no fans in this, which means this is heavy. It's probably got a massive heat sink in it, so you don't need the fans, but that means it's quiet again, uh, just like the 24 port that I put in. But we have a lot more power to deal with. So that's the main reason I'm upgrading, is to get more power budget, to get PoE um, upped, so I don't keep, actually I turned on some of the lights outside, the floodlights. Uh, which I also made a video on that's there um, and those floodlights they just turned on and off because it was it was using too much power and the switch actually turned them off again um, so yeah I do need to upgrade it I didn't think it was going to be this soon um, but that's when you have projects it's fun so let's install the 48 port and we'll hook it all up and we'll see how that looks inside of the Unify controller hmm. all right let's remove the 24 port PoE switch, put in the 48 port PoE switch, and hook it all up. Now I have made a note of where all of these ports go to in the Unify controller so that I can copy them across. Don't forget to do that if you want to keep the same ports, which I do, uh, but let's get to it. I lied. They're not the same size. I, I forgot. I re don't remember 
that it, I didn't remember that it was this shallow. So that makes sense that this is heavier because it's much bigger. Yeah, so interesting. See if it'll fit. Hmm. All right, so I've just moved the brackets from the old 24 port onto the 48 port and then see if it fits. Hmm. Right, so the power plug at the back of the switch is too thick. Uh, it's still plugged in. I'm still gonna turn it on and then tomorrow or some other day, I will replace that power uh, plug with one that's uh, shallower so that it'll fit, fit at the back. So obviously I forgot that these 24 port switch was much uh, shorter or, or, or not as, as deep. Uh, so that fit fine. This one is as deep as the NVR, so I'm gonna need another um, power plug, just like I did for the NVR. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. Uh, and then I will get this hooked up properly, but we can still turn it on and hook it all up and uh, have a look at it, no problem. Uh, it's just a little glitch in my plan because I forgot. Let's plug in all the cables again and we'll go back to the network control. All right, we'll put power on, see what happens. All right, starting, a little display here. Oh, I can take that off, forgot about that. There you go. All right, estimated time remaining, three minutes. So this is gonna start up and then we'll have a look at it in the network controller. Um, and as you can see, I probably need different cables here as well now, because this is all moved over, obviously. <laughs> it's all changed. Um, I thought it was gonna be just an easy swap, but there's all things I didn't think of. Um, but it's just fine for now. Uh, I can still close the, cupboard, or the cabinet if I need to, but I probably wanna change them to these shorter cables, really. Um, all right, anyway, time remaining, two minutes. Let's go and have a look at the network controller and adopt the new switch into that. All right, so we are in the uh, network controller. It's already here, USW48 PoE. Click to adopt, so let's click to adopt. We're gonna adopt that device. And you can see actually it says here the uplink is lounge room five, which it isn't. I'm not sure where it's getting that from, but let's figure that out. It might be right, but uh, it's certainly not where it normally gets the connection from. So uh, adopting it, that shouldn't take too long. And I think what it's doing now, it's actually configuring all the different devices that uh, we've plugged into the new switch because my my Google Hub here next to me is now saying connecting. So obviously it's disconnected somehow, uh, whereas before it wasn't. So uh, I think it's just configuring everything. Oh, there we go. It's now ready. Uh, there's an update. So let's just do that. And then we'll go and look at the rest. So now we've updated and we are online. You can see here now we have the PoE power availability has a green tick. Okay, yay. So we are roughly using about 85 watts out of the 195. So I have a lot to go now. Um, what actually uses the most power are my two LED panels above me here. Uh, and there's a video on that as well. Uh, if you want to know more about those LED panels um, from Unify as well. So the first thing I always do is just, I'm just going to rename this because it's going to have a good name. So we're going to call this not the 24 port switch, but the 48 port switch. Um, and also in the settings here, you can see it's a standard thing that you want, would expect to see in the settings for a switch uh, from Unify. So you can change, actually you can change the brightness of the display here as well. Um, Multi-screen synchronization for the rack. So that's if you have multiple devices, like I do, I have the NVR and I have the now the PoE switch. Um, you can sync the screen settings and screen navigation between all those various screens in the rack. If you want to do that, it's spawned by default. Um, anyway, there's not much to do in settings here. That's about all there is. Uh, we can give it a static IP if we wanted to. Um, and there's things that I don't understand, jumble frames and flow control, I'm not sure what that means. So if you wanna, if you know, let me know in the comments. So let's apply those settings. So we now have a proper name for it. Actually, that's not the name. We're not the primary, we're in the office. There we go. Let me just fix that. And then we apply the changes. So now we've got an Office 48 port switch. Um, so let's have a look at the ports here. There are many. You can see there's uh, there's 48. 
Um, the port manager is by far the best place to look at this and now you can see we have no naming for it but luckily I took a screenshot so let me just fix the naming for it and we'll have a look, little bit more look of it. So now I've renamed all the ports, uh, I recommend doing that because then I can keep track of where things are, otherwise I can't find anything. Um, the, uh, they're not quite all updated yet, these will come on um, over time, usually it takes a little bit for them to somehow discover what device it is. Uh, but there's some here, the office access point on, the office camera, the guest access, uh, cottage access point is also on. Um, so that's all, it all seems to work, uh, it all has the same... Uh, connectivity speed so some of them are gigabits some of them are 100 megabit or fe which is like the, the little cameras the g3 instant cameras they are uh, they don't run gigabit so they obviously don't get a gigabit connection and things like that um it's like yeah any other unified switch uh there's just 48 ports so there's a lot um i don't have anything to do with sfp but my last video I actually updated to a with a Gigabeam Plus, so my wireless connection to this building up in the office became Gigabit, and I don't have, um, you know, I don't have any more than Gigabit infrastructure. So maybe I can uh, actually connect things with SFP, even though these are one Gigabit as well. But anyway, future thoughts. I'm thinking out loud. Um, yeah, there's not much more to this switch. It's really easy to set up. Uh, obviously, it's a lot bigger than a 24 port, as I found out. I thought they were the same size. They're not. Um, and uh, I just got to fix up that power cord at the back and just, you know, uh, get the screws in properly. But other than that, it's completely simple to install. Uh, it took me not even 10 minutes to do. Um, and it's all set up now and it's up and running. And you can see here it's being used um, and it's good to go. So if you uh if there's anything i missed with this switch anything you want to know let me know in the comments more than happy to answer any questions there and if you do like this video if you like unify equipment if you like home automation home assistance stuff consider subscribing i'd love to have you as part of the community on the channel um but other than that um that's it for me until next time and the next video the reason i actually put this switch in is because the next video I have a little bit of a cool device that I need lots of power for. So yeah, check out the next video if you like Unify stuff because uh, <laughs> that's going to be cool. All right, uh, enough.